Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have the November Nightworms for you. Oddly enough, this Nightworms package, which I opened to confirm that indeed it was November, came on Halloween, so October 31st. We have never gotten a package that early before, ever. I was like, did I order, a, like, was there a special Nightworms going on I didn't know about? But no, this is the November Nightworms for sure. If you are unfamiliar with Nightworms, they are a horror thriller subscription service. In each package, you get one, two, maybe three horror or thriller books. And you get a goodie bag, complete with some type of beverage, be it coffee, tea, hot chocolate, stickers, magnets, the bookmarks, and signed book plates for the books. So if that is something you're interested in seeing, keep on watching. In all Nightworms videos that I do, we're going to start with the goodie bag. If you're looking for a subscription with not a lot of bells and whistles, like you know sometimes you get subscriptions that have these trinkets that maybe you'll use, maybe you won't use. This is, this is not Nightworms. Nightworms is giving you some things you're going to use and it's delightful. The theme of this bundle, which you will have already seen from the title, is Horror Royalty. So expect the books to be authors that are royalty in that genre. First up we have our beverage and we got Moonstruck Milk Chocolate Creamy Cocoa. Now I cannot have, oh, oh wait a moment though. Hold up, it says ingredients, powdered sugar, cocoa powder. And that's it, Dutch process. I don't know what Dutch process means. It says manufactured on shared equipment, may contain traces of milk, eggs, soy peanuts, and tree nuts. Hmm, so is this non-dairy even though it says milk chocolate? Interesting, I don't know. I might be able to drink this, even though it says milk chocolate. I'm curious, does anybody know anything about this? Is it non-dairy? Like, I don't need to be vegan, I just need it to be non-dairy. Let me know in the comments down below. But I still love this. When my niece comes to visit, she loves hot chocolate, so this will still be handy. All right, I only have one book plate in here, which is interesting. Maybe we don't have a book plate for the other one, I don't know. I have got two stickers that are the same thing and I'm so happy. It's probably a mistake but I'm happy because these are gorgeous. It says Queen of Books and they're stickers and it's going right on my little water bottle. So cute. I love it. Wish she had pink hair but you know, Queen of Books. Am I that? Yes. Then we have another sticker of a ghost with a crown on it, and he's reading a book. He's super cute. He's got his little throne of books. Adorable. Also love this sticker. And then I won't gush about it too much. <laughs> oh? What do you have? What is that? What? What do you have? No, that's not for kitties. I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. I don't know if you can see it, but how this was in a drawer. How did you get this? You are suspicious. Do you see this? I don't I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyways, going back to what I was saying, these bookmarks are the best. They're the bomb.com. I love them. Happy to have another bookmark in my collection. And then we have some advertisement on some books by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, previously out of print ebooks. 
these titles are back and ready to make you scream. So there's different different books by Stephen Graham Jones that are coming back out. I'm not sure. So I'm going to put everything back into the bag and then we're going to get into the books. All right, so the first book, this is indeed, these are horror writers that are huge in the horror community. And the first book we have is After the People Lights Have Gone Off. Please don't mind Natalie right now. She's got the zoomies, so if you hear running around and meowing, she legit has the zoomies. Uh, so this is... <laughs> After the People Lights Have Gone Off by Stephen Graham Jones. This is under 300 pages at 262 pages. So let me read to you what this is about. This is not your cookie cutter horror collection. Okay, so this is a collection. Stephen Graham Jones has taken nightmarish visions from the fevered imagination and crafted them into pieces of of literary genius. If the absolute fear doesn't sweep you away, his lyrical and haunting prose will. As Joe R. Lansdale states in the introduction, you need this book. If you like anything close to horror and also like your stories to have elements other than just standing in the darkness with a bloody knife, you have the right book. Enjoy. Does holding your breath for two minutes during the scariest part of a horror movie invite the terror in? Just ask the kids who go to the local theater in 13. In Doc's story, even the most beloved family tales have teeth. That's what happens when you're born into a werewolf pack. And a father doesn't have to think twice when he's given one chance to make the ultimate sacrifice in snow monsters. In these 15 stories, Jones coaxes our greatest fears from the shadowy corners of our minds and we can't turn away. Cool. So these are all horror stories written by Stephen Graham Jones. Very cool. I'm excited for this. So that is the first book we got in our Nightworms. Next we have ourselves a hardcover book by another horror master and that is Nick Cutter and this is The Queen. This cover is pretty cool and the feel of it there's 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 some texture things on here if um different textures on a book <laughs> makes you go nuts this might not be for you but this is this is kind of cool like the bee is a different texture from like her face and this rip part is a different texture very cool there are 368 pages in this book and as I'm going through this oh here we go okay they're long chapters I guess but each chapter has these bees on the top which is pretty cool and there is some text that look like text messages in it I was going through I don't know if I'll be able to find it now but there was pictures of I don't know how bees work or something like that. What is this? I don't know. I can't find it. But as I was scrolling through, it um, it definitely had this picture of like a bee life cycle or something along those lines. And then as I'm going through, I'm looking at all the, the books that Nick Cutter has wrote. One of the one of the books I really 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 want to read is The Troop. Has anyone read that before? Let me know. I really, really and truly want to read the truth. But we have the Queen, so let's read what the Queen is about. One sunny morning in June, Margaret Carpenter wakes up to find a new iPhone on her, door her doorstep. She switches it on and is greeted by a text from her best friend, Charity Atwater. The problem is, Charity's been missing for over a month. Most people in town, even the police, think she's dead. Margaret and Charity have been lifelong friends. They share everything, know the most intimate details about each other, except for the destructive secret hidden from them both. A secret that will trigger a chain of events ending in tragedy, bloodshed, and death. And now Charity wants Margaret to know her story, the real story. 
In a narrative that takes place over one feverish day, Margaret follows a series of increasingly dis disquieting breadcrumbs as she forges deeper into the mystery of her best friend, a person she never truly knew at all. So cool. This takes place all in one day. That's pretty cool. That's actually really dope. I really like that. So excited to read this. I don't, I've not read anything from Nick Cutter before. So I'm excited. I haven't read anything from Stephen Graham Jones either. So this is great. This is awesome. Of course, you hear about Nick Cutter, you hear about Stephen Graham Jones and just how prolific they are in the horror genre. So that is everything I got in my Nightworms for November 2024. What did you guys think of this pack? This is great. I think they should do more of horror royalty. Maybe they can do like a thriller royalty next Nightworms. Just a thought. But yeah, I'm really excited about these books. I love everything that came in the goodie bag. So with that, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Become a member of this a beautiful bookish family. Make sure you hit your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload a video. Make sure you like the video as well. It really helps me out. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you are currently reading. If you have read any of these books or you have read books by these authors, I would love to know. And with that, I will see you all real soon in my next video. Goodbye! Have you gone mad? Are you okay? Are you crazy? Come here. Come here. What you doing? I don't know if you can see her. Have you gone mad? I think so.